Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a little tips and tricks video on how to use Google for image searches. It's very important. I've talked about this a long time ago and I think a refresh of this video is probably very helpful. People ask me all the time, you know, uh, where I get my uh, desktop wallpaper pictures uh, and sometimes they see a picture that I have and they're like, wow, this is so beautiful, where you get that? now?" I have an app, of course, for my pictures on Windows 10, but you know what? You can get fantastic images with Google. And how do you do that? It's very simple. When you're on a Google page, on the upper right corner, it says images. You can click there and search for pictures only. So basically, all you have to do, say I want to have uh, the Grand Canyon. And I press enter. Look at all the beautiful pictures that are popping up. And when you put your pointer or your little hand over a picture, it gives you the exact pixels. This one, 1600 by 800. So you can match it with the resolution of your screen to make sure that it's big enough to fit on your screen. So once you see one that's at least the resolution you want, you just click on it and then you click the view image. There you'll have that image. You can of course check it out. You can right click, save picture as, make sure that you save it somewhere, for example on your desktop. So here's the Grand Canyon and here we go, it's saved on my desktop. If I look at it, it's uh, here. This is the Grand Canyon, the picture that I just saved. I can actually uh, take this and uh, put it as a wallpaper. So when it's downloaded in a folder or somewhere, you can right click on that picture. And when you do, it says set as desktop background. That will bring you that picture as your wallpaper. Another thing that you might not know about a search of image in Google is that if you are doing a blog, if you are doing YouTube videos, if you are doing something that requires you to have images. One of the things you need to know is that images are copyrighted. So you need to have the proper images. And how do you do that? Just go into search tools on the upper right of the image search. In search tools, you have something called usage rights. If you click here, you've got labeled for reuse with modification, labeled for reuse, labeled for non-commercial reuse, and for non-commercial reuse with modifications or not. So basically, if you have labeled for reuse, it means you can use that picture uh, in your blogs and a YouTube video. And it's okay. It has, you have the right to do so. So it's pretty cool because you can pin down pictures that you can use without having to pay, you know, uh, lots of money and you of course you have different ways of searching you can choose for a specific size you can choose for a specific palette of colors so say you want to have it more green you'll click the green and here's gonna give you pictures that go with your search that are more in the type of search or color palette that you might want of course type it could be face photo clip art uh, animated GIF or stuff like that. So depending on what you want and of course there's pictures taken recently and older pictures also labeled for reuse and uh, of course you can clear the search whatever you did and come back to regular search. So it's really a cool thing to know. A lot of people don't know that you can search for pictures in Google directly and it's great and easy to do. Once again, simply go to the Google Start page and on the upper right corner, next to Gmail, you'll see Images. Simply click there and you'll see Google Images here and you have a little camera. And one last tip, you see this little camera here? When you click on it, you can actually search. For example, I'll upload an image and I'll browse on my desktop if I click the image here of the Grand Canyon and I click open, it's going to open and it's actually going to tell you 
information about what that picture is about. So here it gives me best guess for this image, Grand Canyon National Park. So if you have a picture, you wonder where it could be from, you can use that reverse search to know where or what it is or where it's from. So that's another cool thing about Google search for images. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. And I hope you enjoy these little tips and tricks videos. And especially this one on how to search for images on Google.